Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today is the ultimate versus vacuuming match up that we've all wanted to know and hear about debuting this guy here, the, the Xiaomi Mi robot vacuum cleaner versus the Hoover Linux stick vac versus the Shark Navigator upright traditional plug-in powered vacuum cleaner. Which one of these guys is going to suck your carpet the best and get all that dirt and grime out? This is the robot vac, the Xiaomi Mi. This is the Hoover Linux lithium powered stick vac. And... I'm going to be using this in a way that is pretty much conventional, like the robot will go over a path once and navigate all the way around getting everything. And I'm going to go back and forth just like a regular vacuum cleaner. This is the shark navigator here. And I may go over a place twice, but I feel like that's fair because I feel like that's how you use a vacuum cleaner. So, but keep this in mind. The robot vac has gone over this property, this carpet like for two months straight three times a week okay and i started with a clean filter vacuum the filters cleaned everything out starting brand new and i sent the robot out first on its little mission this is what it brings back it bring, it amazes me though it pulls everything off the top of the carpet like a genius okay you can't hide from it got two little dogs we didn't know it sh those dogs shed this bad but apparently they do. And it pulls it all off the, the top. Everything off the top is getting in this vacuum cleaner. So know that in advance. Look at that dirty filter. That was spotless before I ran it. And this thing runs three times a week and been doing it for two months. Now this is the stick vac, which I absolutely love. If you don't like sweeping, you like this guy, this is immediate, pull it, grab it, go. And then look at the stuff this thing pulls out. It pulls, goes a little bit deeper then the robot vac can go and pulls up some of those fine little granules there. But not a lot because that vacuum, the, the robot vac takes care of the top, but, but so would the stick vac, you know. And that was a clean filter before. Got a little little tint to it, nothing crazy. And then that's not a lot because vacuumed, I don't know, 1,400 square feet of carpet or so. Equally, like I said, now there's the comparison. The topper and the medium carpet junk right there with the stick vac. Now let's roll on over to the Shark Navigator, which never loses suction. Is it going to agitate that carpet? Is it going to go deep like we want it to go? Yeah, it does. It goes all the way down there around that pad. It, it, it does a great job agitating that carpet. I don't think you can ever top plug-in power upright or those pull-behind uh, canister vacuum cleaners, which I, I prefer. I love those guys. But this did a fantastic job of getting down there, getting all that sand, getting all that little dust and stuff that settles down into the carpet. It agitates it. It sucks it up. All for under 100 bucks. You can find these older models here. Under 100 bucks. Nothing different except for how it works and the, atta or the, the attachments and how it carries itself. But you're always going to have to have plug-in power uprightness uh, along with whatever toys you decide to go with that'll get, limp you through until the next time you use the corded one for convenience sake. The stick works great. I can vacuum the entire house on one lithium battery from the Hoover Linux. And that's like under hundred bucks, but the robot vac is 250 bucks to $300. Whatever you do, do not overpay easy to do for that Xiaomi Mi original robot vac but that's the best robot vac and if you got the money I recommend all three because that little robot guy saves a lot of time three times a week knocking off the top goes a little bit deeper with the stick but it's really easy to grab and clean up some messes and stuff you can do your whole house with it so necessities I think are the stick vac the upright vac if you got the cash go ahead and grab your robot vac and make sure whatever you do explode on that subscribe button and ding that dong so that you'll get notified the next versus video i do this has been isaiah's reviews see ya